Hello everyone, my name is Jason and I'm a PhD student at the University of Buffalo. This is a joint research project with Jaroslaw, an associate professor at UB, and Ernam, a PhD advisor. Today, we'll be talking about all work on county-induced six cycles by apartheid graphs. Here is the outline of this presentation. I'm going to begin by introducing any necessary background information. Then I'll explain why counting induced six cycles is so important. For the third section, I'll be introducing our parallel algorithms for counting induced six cycles. Our final two sections showcase our results and the final conclusion. Let's begin with some terminology and background information. Graphs contain a collection of nodes and edges such that each edge connects two nodes together. These traditional graphs are unipartite, which means that there is only one node set. Bipartite graphs are different than traditional graphs in that there are two disjoint and independent node sets, hence the word bipartite. Each edge connects a node in one node set to a node in the other node set. For example, an author paper network is a bipartite graph where each edge connects an author with a paper, the author is a co-author of that paper. Motifs, which are small repeating subgraphs, have been used effectively in various graph mining tasks, such as controversy identification in DNA analysis. In graphs, the most popular motif is a triangle, which relates three nodes together. However, bipartite graphs do not contain any triangles. Therefore, alternative motifs have been proposed for bipartite graphs, such as the butterfly, which is a four cycle as shown in the figure below. However, butterflies capture the higher order relations between only two nodes from the same node set. There is a need to go for larger bipartite motifs, which can model higher order relations while being computationally affordable. One promising structure in this context is six cycle, which models the triadic closure in bipartite networks. In the unipartite projection but bipartite network, we only consider nodes in one of the two sets and connect nodes which have a common neighbor. In both of the unipartite projections, all six cycles in the original bipartite network form triangles. Six cycles can also be classified as either non-induced or induced based on its internal edges. Unlike non-induced six cycles, each node in induced six cycles must have exactly two edges. The aim of this work is to count all induced six cycles in bipartite networks. Why is this so important? Well, in general, it is well known that induced motifs, also known as graphlets, are more useful than non-induced motifs in real-world applications, such as anomaly detection, but also remain more challenging to compute. As the smallest projection of a triangle in bipartite networks, induced six cycles offer a more still perspective than the butterfly. Therefore, we expect that applications such as community discovery, anomaly detection, and graph classification will use the induced six cycle as the main building block. In that respect, fast algorithms are essential. However, there are significant challenges in the counting of induced six cycles. Since we have to account for the lack of certain edges to ensure inducedness, it is more difficult than counting non-induced six cycles. Also, the number of induced six cycles in a bipartite network is often much larger than the number of nodes and edges in the network. Due to the high computational cost, we can use the affordances of shared memory parallelization for practical runtime performance. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first inquiry in induced six cycle counting. Therefore, we took inspiration 
from previous cycle counting works in our algorithms. All of our algorithms make use of a generic pre-processing step, which formats the graph to speed up computations. Since all nodes in the induced six cycle must have at least two neighbors, pre-processing begins by filtering nodes until all the remaining nodes have a degree of at least two. Then it sorts the nodes and neighbor lists and ensures that the left set U is the smaller set. Since we parallelize our albums based on U, making it the smaller set increases the number of induced six cycles that are processed in batches for each thread. Inspired by prior work on counting cycles using breadth first search, no join counts the induced six cycles by performing a limited breadth first search from each node in U up until a depth level of three. If we look at the figure below, we can see that starting from a root node U1, no join iterates through two of node U1's neighbors, V2 and V3, and then it finds nodes U3 and U2 such that they are connected to either V2 or V3, but not both. These dotted edges represent edges which cannot exist for the cycle to be induced. Finally, we complete the cycle by iterating through nodes V1, which are connected to both U2 and U3. We can parallelize this algorithm based on the root or starting nodes U1. She and Shun counted butterflies in parallel by aggregating wedges, which are two paths. We can do a similar thing with induced six cycles. Since induced six cycles are composed of three overlapping wedges, we can reduce the cost of computation by operating on wedges rather than nodes. Our second algorithm, wedge join, goes over triples of wedges and counts the ones that form an induced six cycle. In this figure, the triple of wedges, green, red, and blue, form a six cycle. Similar to node join, we have to account for the lack of certain edges represented as these dotted black lines to ensure inducedness. We can parallelize this algorithm based on the starting wedges. Node triplets offer a systemic way to count the induced six cycles. We define a node triplet to be a grouping of three unique nodes such that all nodes are in the same node set and there exists a four path connecting the three yeah, nodes. Yeah, Given that there are exactly six edges in induced six cycle and no two nodes share more than one neighbor, we can derive a formula to find the number of induced six cycles for a given node triplet. Triplet join uses theorem one for each node triplet or batch triplet join, our best algorithm incorporates theorem two. The difference between these two theorems is that the latter theorem requires one set intersection computation instead of three set difference computations, resulting in fewer total computations. Theorem two also allows for improved memory utilization as we only need to store the size of the pairwise intersections rather than the entire set. Unlike theorem one, where we need this entire set for set difference computation, we parallelize these two algorithms based on the first traverse node in each node triplet. Let's now showcase some of our results. Here, we show the data statistics of several real-world bipartite networks. You can see here that the number of induced six cycles is typically much larger than the number of nodes and edges in the network. This poses a significant challenge for any counting algorithm. This table shows the run times of our algorithms on a single thread and 52 threads. We also give the relative speed up of our best algorithm, batch triplet join, over the second best algorithm, 52 threads. We see that batch triplet join is consistently several times faster than all of our other algorithms. On the largest network, 
with 112 million inches. Live Journal, Batch Blade Join is able to able to finish the computation in 78 minutes by using 52 threads. Here, we plot the strong and weak scaling results for our best outcome, batch triplet join. If we look at the figure on the left, we see that with the exception of a DBLP, batch triplet join exhibits strong scalability. Since batch triplet join already runs DBLP in less than five seconds using just a single thread, there's not much potential here for speed up. Since there's no established byproduct graph generator, or weak scaling experiments, we ran our algorithms on X duplicates of the original network, where X is the number of threads. Having approximately 60% efficiency or better, even when the graph is 52 times the size of the original, batch triplet join can be considered to be scalable in terms of weak scaling, although there's some room here for improvement. Here, we give the memory usage results. Memory becomes more of a factor in larger networks. On the three largest networks, MovieLens, Roosters, and LiveJournal, batch triplet join is not only much faster than all of our other outcomes, but also has a significantly smaller memory footprint than triplet join, thanks to storing the sizes of set intersections instead of the entire set. Previously, I talked about our pre-processing scheme, which we use to speed up all of our outcomes. You might be wondering, what is the impact of the various techniques we use? Therefore, we measure the impact of each pre-processing technique for the best performing algorithm batch triplet join. Here, none denotes applying all techniques and two core represents filtering nodes with degrees less than two. Applying all the techniques achieves the best result for six of the eight networks, including the three largest, MovieLens, Reuters, and LiveJournal. With larger networks, the runtime savings from each pre-processing section is more significant. In particular, two-core filtering and swapping node sets provide drastic gains. For our node reordering step, we tested the impact of different node ranking choices. Degree ordering ranks the nodes based on their degrees. Degeneracy ordering is an ordering of vertices given by repeatedly finding and removing vertices of smallest degree, also known as ordering by core numbers. Wedge ordering uses the number of two paths from each node. Comparing individual ordering schemes, increasing wedge ordering outperforms the other ordering schemes in six of eight networks, including the two largest networks, routers and live journal. This is why we consider it as the default ordering in pre-processing. In conclusion, induced six cycles are important in a variety of real-world applications such as community discovery and anomaly detection. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first inquiry in induced six-cycle counting. Experiments on real-world bipartite networks show that our best algorithm, batch triplet join, is highly parallelizable in relation to the number of processors and enables practical computation for large networks with up to half a billion edges. As a future work, we will investigate scaling our algorithm to larger networks with billions of edges. We will also extend our methods to handle the networks with low induced six cycle counts. One interesting question in this context is how quickly one can terminate the computation if the graph has few induced six cycles. Our implementation of all of our algorithms are publicly available in C++ here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at my email here. Thank you for your time.